Good evening. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> well, it's good to see you. Uh, good, my evening. good evening. Good <laughs> evening. Okay, it's time to start our class, our class number one in this free intermediate module three. My name is Rocio Chicas. As I introduced myself in the WhatsApp group, you could see me there. So nice to meet you, everyone. <laughs> well, nice to meet you too. <laughs> thank you so much. Well, guys, um, today we are going to start a unit in which we are going to learn about how to describe places using adjectives before adverbs, okay? So, um, in a moment, you will see the presentation, okay? I will show it to you. We'll have a brief conversation <laughs> before we start the class. We need to have some, we need to, I need you to tell you some, um, guidelines about the class. Just give me one moment because I need to fix something here. Okay, here we go. Okay, in a moment you will see it. Okay, can you tell me? If you can see my presentation. Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes. So today's topic is talking about my favorite city. Okay, as you can see, my name is Rosina Chica. And let me show you the, uh, or let me introduce myself. I'm an English teacher for many years. I've been teacher since 2014 in different places. And, uh, well, we need to talk a, a little bit about the homework evaluations in this model. Eh, ¿Quiénes ya es primera vez que estarán en este curso? ¿Quiénes están por primera vez? Me gustaría saber quiénes es primera vez que se han incorporado. Si pudieran levantar su mano virtual. No, todos han estado en el grupo desde el inicio, me imagino. Okay, great, that's great. Because you already know the guidelines, right? So that's nice. Bueno, entonces ya, ya están muy sabedores de todos los eh, requisitos, ¿verdad? Que deben cumplir para que puedan mantener su beca. Eh, pues es necesario tener siempre el 80% en las tareas y evaluaciones que hacen en plataforma. Eso es muy importante eh, hacerlas eh, conforme a cada semana, ¿verdad? Se recomienda hacer cada sección. Y pues, eh, como mencioné el punto número tres, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la medianoche. Muy bien. Entonces, en la semana uno debemos cubrir la sección uno y dos. Semana 2, sección 3 y midterm. Semana 3, sección 4. Y la última semana, la sección 5 en final exam. Bueno, eh, Flor Sánchez estará pues brindándoles la información también en los grupos de WhatsApp. Les estará apoyando. Otras normas de convivencia que debemos de seguir en la clase. Recuerden mantener el botón silencio la mayor parte del tiempo. Cuando usted desea participar, Levante su mano virtual y pues le damos la oportunidad de poder expresarse. Eh, pues deben estar conectados a las 8 en punto, pues a esa hora yo pasaré la asistencia. Debe tener su cámara encendida y su nombre debe eh, ser según el DUI, ¿verdad? No va a aparecer allí Huawei o Samsung, ¿verdad? <ríe> en la pantallita, sino su nombre completo. Así como ahorita lo han hecho todos. Excelente. Ahí 
puedo ver sus nombres, Selma, Lucía, Maylí, Francisco, Victoria. ¡Ah, Victoria! <ríe> It's good to see you again. <ríe> ok. Eh, bueno, también participación activa. I bueno. love it, your classmates. <ríe> Thank you, Victoria. Ok. And well, Elsie? Sí, Elsie, Patricia. Buenas noches, dice. Good night. Este, fíjese que yo se me arruinó mi laptop y está en taller y me han prestado esta, pero fíjese que lo que estoy notando que ahora en la tarde la fui a, a recoger al taller y estoy notando que usted no me logra ver, ¿verdad? No, no la veo. La veo. Ah, pues, teacher, lamentablemente no sirve la cámara. Ok. <risas> Entonces, no sé si, si, porque en una semana supuestamente me dan la mía y esta es como préstamo, pero ya estuve viendo y sí creo que tiene arruinadita la cámara. Bueno, entonces pero temporalmente nos tocará. Sí, teacher, me disculpa porque yo siempre soy de las que me conecto así, viéndome, el, 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 ¿verdad? Conectada con cámara, pero ahorita sí estoy notando que no, no sirve, la Sí, okay, no gracias. en cuenta, pero siempre puede participar, ¿verdad? Gracias. Eh, ¿Alguien más levantó la mano? Victoria. Sí, ayudarle a la compañera. Muchas veces traen un seguro ahí donde tira la luz de la cámara traen tapadera, por así decirlo, entonces ella la mueve y ahí se le destapa la cámara. Eh, ¿En opciones de vista? No, 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 encima de la pantalla, donde tira el botoncito para encender la luz. Ajá. Ahí tiene un sellito, ahí tóquele, acerque su mano y ahí se siente, un, ahí, ahí se, se tapa muchas veces, ahí tienen el seguro. Pruebe, tal vez es eso. Ahorita estoy, ahorita estoy probando. Ok. Thank you, Victoria. Bueno, well, eh, ¿qué más? Bueno, la participación, ¿verdad? Bien importante en mi clase que participe, ya sea en el chat o pues abriendo su micrófono. Y eh, eh, que usted participe, pues le va a ayudar mucho más en su aprendizaje. También en las salas de grupos, los break rooms, también es importante que usted no solo esté allí, ¿verdad? por estar, sino que aprovecha la oportunidad para eh, practicar con sus compañeros. Se puede aprender mucho de los compañeros también. Y también cuando yo ando allí en cada grupo, en cada salita, eh, muchas veces también les doy feedback o les doy alguna corrección de lo que están haciendo eh, o alguna otra información. Así que por eso es importante que usted entre a las salitas y participe. Ok, y sobre todo también mantener el respeto con los compañeros. Muchas gracias, compañera. Lo logró, qué bueno. Lo logró. <risa> gracias. <risa> Very good. Ok, bueno, entonces ya saben, el 80% de las clases es el mínimo que debe tener usted en su asistencia, la plataforma. Eh, aquí, aquí te, um, bueno, las clases empiezan hoy, vea, February. 27. Yeah. Y algo más que debo eh, comentarles es que conmigo no hay clases los días miércoles. Entonces, por razones de fuerza mayor, no puedo impartir la clase los días miércoles. Así que nuestras clases serán lunes y martes, jueves y viernes. Eso sí es importante que lo tomemos en cuenta. Sé que todos hacemos planes cada semana, ¿verdad? Entonces, lunes y martes, jueves y viernes. Nos vemos. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Ok. <ríe> well, so, ¿sí es sí? Teacher, yo trabajo los viernes en la noche. No sé cómo voy a hacer para reponer, porque yo sé que es bien estricto y uno no puede faltar. Um, voy a conectarme, pero no voy a participar, teacher. Ok, puede conectarse como oyente. Uh -huh. Sí, eso voy a hacer. Gracias. Bueno, ok. So now it's time to take the attendance, people. So please stay present and here when I mention your name. Ana Marisol Zamora Castillo. Present. Thank you, Ana. Ana Patricia García de Sánchez. Present, teacher. Good. Benjamín Alejandro Quijada. 
I'm here. Good. Thank you, Benjamin. Brenda Adriana Mendez. Mm, Brenda? No, they are. Okay. Brenda Isabel Castro. Present teacher. Thank you, Brenda. Eh, Se le escucha ya a lo lejito, pero. Pero le escuché. <ríe> Brian Steve Rodas Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you, Brian. Claudia Isel López. Claudia también se la escucha muy bajito. Daniela Magali Asensio. Daniela Magali. Ah, ahí está Daniela. Ok. No se la escucha, Daniela. Tal vez puede ahí. Uh -huh. Arreglar algo. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Present Miss. Glad to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Edgar. Elisa Arely López. I'm here, Miss. Thanks. Elsie Patricia de Jesús. I am here, teacher. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Francisco Alexander Villafuerte. Present teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Griselda Lisset Moreno de Bonilla. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Griselda. Jacqueline Liliana Enriquez. Janelle Carolina Rivera. Jocelyn Natalia Mancía Zamora. Present, teacher. Thank you. I'm here, teacher. Uh, who said I am here? Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Thank you, Jocelyn. Y Janet Carolina. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Janet. Karen Xiomara López. Present teacher. Thank you, Karen. Karina Yasmin Nuila. Present teacher. Thank you, Karina. Carla Melissa Colocho. I'm here. Thank you, Carla. Leslie Orellana. Present teacher. Uh, mire, solicito permiso para tener mi cámara apagada por problemas de salud. Ok, Leslie. Lucía Elena. Present teacher. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Lucía. Margarita Miguel Tobías. Present. Thank you. Martín Ernesto Estrada. Present teacher. Thank you, Martín. Miley Yamileda Alvarenga. Present, Miss. ¿Es Miley o Miley? Miley. Miley, ok. Miley. Miley. Thank you. Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Hi, teacher. Present. Thank you, Michelle. Roberto Carlos Cuellas. Hi, teacher, present. Thank you, Roberto. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. I'm here, teacher, present. Thank you, Roberto. Selma Peña. I'm here. Thank you, Selma. Victoria Leal de Contreras. Present, miss. Okay, thank you, everyone, for connecting on time. The majority is here in the class, and that's great. Okay, I'm going to share the presentation again and you will see what is the, the lesson objective for this class. Uh, I would like one volunteer to read the lesson objective. Any volunteers to Hello. read? Okay, um, let me see. I, I couldn't see who was the person. Uh, I'm Benjamin. Benjamin, okay, Benjamin, please. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. Exactly. So the class will be about that, okay? Conversation about a city where adverbs before adjectives are used. So you're going to learn how to use uh, some a special adverbs before adjectives when describing 
a plate. Okay. And just we have these activities, recording previous knowledge, talking about my favorite city, conversation time, and wrap up. <clears throat> Excuse me? Okay. Well, guys, we are going to review countries, cities, and nationalities. Okay, so in this moment, I'm going to ask some of you, and you have to tell, I will say any name, and you have to tell me country, the country and the nationality, okay? For example, if I ask Lucia, yes. you have to tell me one country and nationality of that country. For example, El Salvador, Salvadorian. I don't know. <laughs> Any country, Guatemala, Honduras, Mexico, United States, Spain, any country in the world? France. Okay, France. And the nationality is? French. 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 <laughs> okay, Roberto Carlos, tell us. Yes, uh, Chile. Chilean. Okay, Chile, Chilean. Okay, very yeah. good. Any other volunteer? Miley? United Kingdom, British. Excellent. Okay. Ana Patricia? Brazil, Brazilian. Great. Brian Steve? China, Chinese. Great. Yeah, perfect. Francisco Villafuerte. Italy, Italian. Yes, that's nice. Elisa, Arely? Mexico, Mexican. Okay, yeah. That's where tacos are from. Griselda Moreno. United States, America. Yeah, that's uh, nice. Brenda Castro. Canada, Canadian. 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 <laughs> okay. Victoria Leal. Oh, excuse me, I don't know. Chinese, tenía y me lo quitado. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Japan. Japanese. Yes. Okay. Kelsey Patricia. Argentina. Argentinian. Argentinian or Argentine. Okay, good. Argentina, Argentinian. <laughs> yes, it could be Argentine or Argentinian, the, the nationality. Okay, very good. I can see that you are familiar with countries and nationality. So right now we're going to have, you are going to help me to complete a one... You're going to help me to complete one game about countries and nationality, okay? Can you see it in, my, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, so we have countries, we have nationalities, okay. So for example, Greece. Greece is the country or the nationality? The country. Nationality. Country. nationality. Greece is the country and the nationality is Greek. Greek, exactly. Greek. Okay. Spanish? Nationality. What is the country? Spain. 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 Yes, okay. Spain. Argentinian. Nationality. 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 Argentina. Argentina. Yes, Argentina. 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 And the country is Australia. 
Australia. Australia. Okay, Turkey. Country. Country. Natural. Turkey. 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 <laughs> there were many earthquakes, not only one, like three earthquakes, right? Okay, Portuguese? Portuguese. And the country is? Portugal. 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 Exactly. Portugal. Do you know a famous person from Portugal? Do you know? Country. Do you know a famous person from Portugal? Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo. right? I knew it. <laughs> okay, Italy or Italy. Country. 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 And the nationality is Italian. 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 Oh. That's right, Italian. Okay. Canadian. Nationality. Canada. So the Canada. Canada. Okay, American. Nationality. Nationality. And the USA. 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 Okay, British. Nationality. Nationality. Country. The UK. 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 The UK or the United Kingdom. Okay, Brazil. Bra country. 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 Can you pronounce Brazil? Brazilian. Brazilian. Brazil. Brazil. Brazilian. 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 Poland. Country. 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 Police, nationality. Okay, let's check if it's correct. Wow, excellent people. All of them are correct. So, great job. Okay, great job. Okay. Thank you for helping <laughs> me. Now I remember those countries and those nationalities. So, um, Continuing with the presentation with the class. Now, just this is just a reminder. You know this. You already know this, right? We have countries, cities, and When we want to mention the country or the city we are from or someone is from, this is the structure that we follow. The subject plus the verb be is are or am, and we use the preposition from, and then I say the country and the city. For example, she is from Colombia. Okay, so when I mention the country or when I mention the city, I have to use the article from, or if I say, I am from San Salvador, okay? Uh, my mother is from La Libertad. My friend is from uh, France, right? From France, exactly. So if you mention the country or the city, we used from the article, sorry, the preposition from. Now, what happens when I say the nationality? In this case, the structure is subject, verb, and then the nationality. You don't use from. Example, she is Colombian. 
I am Salvadorian. He is Mexican. They are American. He is Argentinian, right? And so on. Those are some examples. Okay, so is this clear or do you have any questions about this? The use of how to say where you're from, your city, your country, your nationality. No questions? Um, um, no. So far so good? Um, yes. That's right. Okay, now we're gonna do a dynamic. Okay, so this person, as you can see in the presentation, is from Colombia. She is Colombian. She is a singer. And um, what else can I say? Um, and she is beautiful, for example. Who is this person? She is. Who is? She is, she is Shakira. Ah, yeah. <laughs> it's Shakira. Okay. So now you think about one famous person. One famous person and write a short description of this person. Say the, where the person is from, the country, the nationality, the occupation, and any other characteristic. Okay? I'll give you two minutes to do it. Two minutes. Okay? Can you start now? Are you ready? Go I hope that you are thinking, I am writing. Famous person could be a athlete, sports player, famous actress or actor, president, uh, politicians, writers, artists, um, what else? People from the royal. Uh, country and nationality, teacher. You have, to nationality. Mean, you have to mention the person's, uh -huh, where the person is from, the country, and the nationality. Practice. Okay. And nationality. Wow, you have only 34 seconds. 34 seconds. Time is running. Twenty seconds. Ready. Yes, right. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time up. Okay, time's up. Very good. So, let's see. Volunteers? Do we have volunteers or victims? I hope we <clears throat> have volunteers, okay? Volunteers to participate? Francisco Villafuerte. Yeah. Uh, me? Don't, don't tell us the person. Just get, just say he or she, and we have to guess. We guess who the person. Okay, okay. Uh, and I think it's the easy. Uh, he is from Argentine. He is Argentine. No. Um, He's from Argentina. He's from Argentina. Uh -huh. um, he is at uh, the Pontifex. 
people? Who is this person? He is um <laughs> yes, Roberto. He's the 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 Papa Francisco, no? That's right. Okay, very good. The Pope. Yeah. Thank you, Francisco. Okay, Benjamin. Thank you for your participation, <laughs> Benjamin. <clears throat> she is beautiful. She is from Colombia, Medellin City. She's a famous singer. Her heart has been broken for her ex-boyfriend, who is a singer too. She uses to wear a red colored hair. Okay, thank you for the description, Benjamin. Can you guess? She and is Carol G. Carol G. Shakira. Yep. Carol G. Okay. So she, right? She, Benjamin. <laughs> okay, very good. Um, let's see. Next person. Next volunteer. Lucia. And then the other person is. I saw the pickup for me to see. Okay, Lucia. Okay. Uh, he is a man. He is from UK. He's very tall and handsome. He plays soccer in the Manchester United. He is British and is married with a singer. David Beckham. Beckham. <laughs> Very nice, Lucia. You know about soccer players. Okay, and <laughs> next. Remember, participation is important in the class. If you practice, you will learn more. Ana Patricia. Okay. Um, she is an actress and is a beautiful woman. She is 50 years old and she is from, Bro she is from the Bronx. From where? Bronx. The Bronx. Jennifer the Lopez. Bronx. <laughs> yes. Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> Jennifer Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you, Anna. Okay, Karen Lopez. He, he is a um, singer. He is from Guatemala. He is um, old. <laughs> ya tiene sus años. <laughs> Ricardo Arjona. Okay, the Guatemalan Ricardo Arjona. I can see he's your is he your favorite singer? Maybe, right? <laughs> okay, Miley. Okay, my example is she's a beautiful woman. That's she a is from Mexico. Ah, so no. it's not me, right? I said it was. Ah, no, no, <laughs> it's the other woman. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <me>. <laughs> okay, uh, she's Mexican. She is an an excellent actress. Uh, she works. She works in the movies. Son como niños. So <laughs> Mahaya. Very nice. Okay, Brian, would you like to share yours? Um, he is from Mexico, and he is Mexican. Uh, he is comedian and voice actor. <laughs> Franco Escamilla. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Elisa, and then Elsie. 
He from El Salvador. He is Salvadorian. He is president of the Republic. So difficult. <laughs> Who is he? Nayib Bukele. <laughs> okay, nice. MC. He is Colombian. Um, he sang with Shakira. He is tall. Okay. Who is? He is Colombian. He sang with Shakira. Shakira. Okay. Bicycle. bicycle. <laughs> Maluma. Maluma. Carol G. He is Carlos Vives. Oh. Yes. <laughs> he is <laughs> Carlos Vives. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All the participants. <laughs> okay. A lot of people sing now with Shakira. <laughs> okay. This applause is for all who participated. Okay. Congratulations, excellent participation. I can see your level of English is very good. So now let's go over the, okay, the next slide we have this. A conversation, it's a fairly big CD. Did you listen to the conversation in the platform? ¿Ya escucharon la conversación en la plataforma? No, yo. No, yes. No, yes. No. 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 Why not? Okay, we have Eric and Carmen. Um, I would like two people from the class to read the conversation. Two people from, okay, Benjamin and... And Benjamin is a partner. Victoria. Okay, you start, Benjamin. Okay, so where are you from, Carmen? I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow, I've heard that a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The, the weather is great, and um, there are some fantastic beaches nearby. 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 Thank you. Is it expensive there? No. It's not very expensive. Prices are pretty reasonable. 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 How big is the city? It's fairly big city. It's not too big. Tall? It sounds perfect to me. Maybe I should plan a trip there sometime. You should. <laughs> okay, thank you, Victoria and Benjamin. Yes. So, are, you see, they are, so where are you from? And they are mentioning the San city, San right, San and the country. I'm from San Juan, Puerto Rico. Wow. I've heard that's a really nice city. Yeah, it is. The way it's great. And there are some fantastic beaches nearby. So Eddie, Carmen, sorry, is describing the place, is, this guy, is describing this, this city. And as you notice, he is using some adverbs, like really nice, really is an adverb, and nice is an adjective, really nice. Uh, another one is very expensive, pretty reasonable, pretty reasonable. Pretty here is not bonito. Todos sabemos que pretty es bonito o bonita. But in this case, pretty is not functioning as an adjective. It's functioning as an adverb. And it means very. Tiene el mismo significado que very. Okay? Pretty. The same as very. Pretty reasonable. Muy razonable. No, no es muy caro. Los precios son muy razonables. So pretty here means muy. Okay, it's an adverb. How big is the city? It's a fairly big city. 
Okay, so fairly here is an adverb. And it's before an adjective. It's not too big though. Too is here um, adjective, uh, an adverb. Okay. So now let's, let's analyze this a little bit more in the next slide. Oh, I have this conversation back. I will jump until this. Okay, so look at more examples. Punta Cana is really nice. It's a really nice place. Okay, so we use the adverbs really, fairly, very, to pretty, somewhat, extremely, to give um, emphasis, right, to the adjective. It gives more emphasis to the adjective. For example, uh, it's fairly expensive. It's a fairly expensive destination. It's not very big. No es tan grande, no es muy grande. It's not a very big city. Sorry, <laughs> New York is too, New York is too noisy, too noisy, too means demasiado, and it's too crowded for me. So these are the adverbs, too, extremely, very, or really, pretty, fairly, or somewhat, okay? You can take notes. You can take notes about this, right? It's important. Michelle Beatriz? Teacher, sorry. What is the meaning of fairly? Bastante. Mm -hmm. Muy. Okay, bastante, thank you. Muy kind. Okay. So we have here some questions and we have to match the questions with the answers. For example, number one, what feel like? Is it an interesting place? Do you like your home, your hometown? Why or why not? What's Sydney like? I never been there. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? What's the weather like in Chicago? So here, what is the what is the answer to conversation number one? What's the old like? You see that interesting place? Letter A. What does it say? Um, the letter B. Um, I guess letter B. B. Not really, it's B. small and it's really boring. That's why I moved away. Okay, sounds, sounds good, sounds well, right? Because no. it's a, is it an interesting place? He said, no, it's really boring. So that's the answer. Okay, do you like your hometown? Why or why not? The letter D. Mm, 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 mm. Do you like your hometown? Huh? It suggests no question. So the answer must be yes or no. Letter E. D. Okay, let's see. S D. Letter D. S D. Ya vimos que la letter D. Es, okay, number one with letter D, right? So, do you know your hometown? Maybe E. E. Yes, it has amazing shopping and the people are pretty friendly, right? So do you know your hometown? Why or why not? He or she answers yes, yes I do. Why? Because it has amazing shopping. So it's good to go shopping in that place. And the people are pretty friendly. Pretty, 
friend. Okay, number three, what's Sydney like? I never been there. He shared. Letter okay. A. Okay, letter A. All right. It's a beautiful, it's beautiful and very clean. It has a great harbor and beautiful beach. Uh, somebody, somebody wants to say something? Who said this part? Yo, es que en la plataforma están esos ejercicios también. Ok. Y estoy intentando resolverlos y en la número dos me sale que es la letra D. Uh, no, really? Sí. Mm, but, um, it's y que la uno es la número, no, perdón, la let literal E. Sorry. Ok, están entonces equivocadas. Lo voy a tomar en cuenta para eh, cómo se le uh -huh. Ok. Ok, solo está un poco confundida por lo que usted dijo de yes or no question. Sí, pero ok, look at the number one. It says, exit an interesting place. Le pregunté, es interesante. Y la respuesta le dice no. No. Es que yo también creí que era así, pero en la plataforma me la puso mala, entonces lo corrí. En la plataforma, en la plataforma, no. A veces mis orejas se Pero gracias, gracias por lo dicho. Para en cuenta, para que puedan arreglar ese ejercicio, ¿ok? Ok, okay teacher, sorry. Esa es la buena de, de allá haber iniciado los ejercicios. Porque usted ya puede eh, eh, comentar al respecto. Okay, thank you, Michelle. Have you ever been to Sao Paulo? Little B. B. Little B. B. Yes, I have. Meaning, if you notice, the question starts with have. So the answer is yes, I have. Okay. It's an extremely large and crowded place. I love it. It has excellent rest. Five. What's the weather like in Chicago? Little C. Extremely C. nice in the summer, but it's too cold for me in the winter. Okay. So examples of the use of adverbs and adjectives. We have very clean, right? Extremely large. Really nice. Too cold. Too small. Really boring. Okay? Pretty? Friendly. Friendly. Yes. Okay, so over here we have more information, conjunctions. Look at the example. The conjunctions are words that join two sentences. They join two sentences or they link or, or connect two sentences. For example, here we have Los Angeles is a big city and you give more information. The weather is like Boston is a big city, but it's not to be. So it's a conjunction of contrast, pero no es tan grande. Okay. Now the other examples. It's a big city. It's not to be though. Uh, this is used at the end, as at the end of the sentence. Um, how can you say in Spanish? It's like, es una gran ciudad, es una ciudad grande. Es una, una ciudad grande, pero, eh, pero no tan, tan grande. Okay, it's like un pero, pero al final. Okay, it's used at the end of the sentence. It's a big city. It's not too big, however. However means, sin embargo. So it's a big city, but it's not too big, however. It's not too big, however, okay? So now we're gonna practice and 
to practice, I want you to use the chat. In the chat, you're going to uh, describe, I'm going to ask you about what San Salvador like. Uh, um, has everybody been to San Salvador? ¿Todos han estado en San Salvador alguna vez en su vida? Yes. Yes. <laughs> no, because people, yes. sometimes, yes. people from San Salvador. Yes. 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 So, how would you <laughs> describe San Salvador? Imagine a foreigner or a person from another country is asking you, hey, what's San Salvador like? How will you describe it? Use the adverbs, use to. Okay, Victoria, ah, don't forget to use the subject at the beginning. It, it's a big city, it's very crowded though. Ahí sí puede usar, mire Victoria, al final. Es una gran ciudad, pero it's very crowded. Though, you can use that. It's very crowded though. Okay, what else? Try to use to extremely, very, really, pretty, fairly, or somewhat. Somewhat is algo. It's a really nice city. Okay, Roberto. It's a really nice city, especially at night. San Salvador is a big and noisy city. Okay, good, Le Lucia. Just try to use the adverbs. Too extremely, very, really, pretty. It is a stressful. <laughs> it is pretty stressful. I like San Salvador because it's a beautiful city, but it's very noisy. Vaya, miren, no olviden usar el subject. It's it is okay. Okay, I want to see more examples. Participate in the chat. I like its historic center, but it's extremely dirty. It is so noisy and very crowded. It's a city with too much traffic. Okay. <laughs> It's a noisy, it's a very beautiful city. Okay. Okay, very nice. Now, uh, people, we have five minutes and you are going to practice in five minutes. Let's see, it's a little hot. Someone hot, it's someone hot. It's a big city and very noisy. So um, I will send you into breakout rooms. I forgot to show this. And you are going to uh, discuss the questions that you will see in a moment. What's your favorite city? Why do you like it? What's the city famous for? Have you ever visited, visited it? And how do you get there? And when you discuss these questions, try to use the answer. What are the adverbs? Too, really, very, pretty, somewhat, fairly. Y miren que ese fairly lo usan bastante en the United States. The American people so try to use it. So you will uh, talk about it with your group for a couple of minutes before we finish the class. Just give me a moment. Okay, the last room. Okay, so please go to the break of room. I will send you the questions, okay?
Teacher, la, ima la imagen que pasó se puede, la puede compartir para poder verla. Por favor. La hay just la de question. Sí, la acabo de enviar al, al grupo. Thank you. You're welcome. Por favor, vayamos a las salitas. Hay muchos que los están esperando. I am. Okay. Perfect. We have the um, five sentences, right? Hello, teacher. Hello. You have to discuss the questions. Just discuss. Si si quieren las pueden escribir. But in this moment, practice speaking, talking, talking about the questions. You have the questions in your cell phone, in the WhatsApp group. Okay. 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 Es sobre las, sobre las preguntas, creo, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, creo que las tenemos que contestar y no las tenemos que cuestionar entre nosotros. Ah, Eso pero entendí. no tengo ni siquiera todas yo. Allí, ah, ok. Allí lo puso en, en el... Ok. Aquí están, pero se las, okay. mandé, se las mandé al grupo de WhatsApp. Ok. Thank you. Ay, sorry. You're welcome. Okay. Well, okay, what is your name? Teacher. Yes, Karen. Karen. Uh, sí, este. Puedo, puedo leerle algo que escribí hace rato y que no pude leerlo. <laughs> okay, Karen. Okay. I listen. It's really, no it's really. My mother is la libertad. It's from. Uh, it's from la libertad. Ajá, porque uh, ella no es la libertad. Uh, <laughs> but my grandmother is the Usulután. But, but my grandmother is from Usulután. Usulután. Yes. My father is from Oachapán. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I live in Sonsonate. You live in Sonsonate. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting origin. Yeah. My, father, my father is from Acajutla. And, and my mother is from La Libertad. Ah. I am from Ilopango, but I live in Los Panes de Remero. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Where you welcome, Roberto Carlos. Where are you from, teacher? Uh, um, I'm sorry, teacher. Where are you from? Um, I am from El Salvador. Yeah, um, but from San Miguel. I am from Quesaltepeque. La libertad. Uh, the, the libertad. Liberty. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Janet. What were you going to say, Janet? Yeah, es que yo le quería decir que fíjese que yo eh, siempre mantengo la cámara apagada por el motivo que vivo cerca de un penal. Entonces, el wifi a veces me falla mucho. Entonces, al tener la cámara encendida, este, se me distorsiona bastante. Ok. Pero este, yo siempre he trabajado con todos los módulos, los he trabajado así y siempre les he dicho a los encargados. Está bien, está bien que lo hagas saber. Ok. 
sí, porque yo, porque si sí, no llega a ver la cámara encendida. Es por eso, pequeña. Eh, como ya no hay mucho tiempo, las preguntas las pueden contestar a tarea. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, Very teacher. Very good. Okay, people, can somebody tell me what's your favorite city? What's your favorite city? Favorite city. Mm -hmm. Victoria? Uh, my favorite city is Antigua, Guatemala. Why? Why do you like it? Uh, because it's the place beautiful. Uh, it it's a, is big. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful city. Um, how do you say uh, traditional? Traditional, mucha, mucha arquitectura. Yeah, I like its architecture. I like its traditions. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks, Italia. Yes. Okay, another question? My favorite is uh, beautiful. Karen, did you raise your hand, Karen? Sí, teacher, pero este... No me las contesto todas. <laughs> okay, but tell me, what's your favorite? City and why do you like it? Got it. We are waiting. I can see your teacher. I'm here. Okay. <laughs> um, um, question. My favorite city is Huayua. Uh -huh. It's a beautiful and where you're cold. The climate is helado. The weather is cold, okay. Uh -huh. The weather is cold. It's fresh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Karen. Well, people, unfortunately, we have to finish the class right here. So sad, right? I know you want to continue, but we have to stop, right? So uh, this is going to be your homework. If you couldn't finish, but it will be a good idea to practice using adverbs, adjectives, adverbs before adjectives. Okay. So I hope to see you tomorrow at eight o'clock. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good night, good night, good Thank you, teacher. Good night. Bye. Nice to meet you. Bye. 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 Bye.